The British Royal Navy has laid the keel for its largest ever nuclear submarine. Traditionally, governments have held ceremonies for the laying of the keel on notable projects, as it signifies the start of construction. The keel is the bottommost structure of a ship. That UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer attended the laying of the keel for HMS Dreadnought. The new nuclear submarine is being built at BE System Barrow and Furnace Facility. In this case, the laying of the keel is largely symbolic as large sections of HMS Dreadnought have already been built. The most advanced boats of their kind the HMS Dreadnought will be a nuclear-powered and armed submarine. According to a Royal Navy press release, the submarine will displace 17,000 tons, will be the length of 14 buses, and will have a crew of around 130. This will make HMS Dreadnoughts the most advanced boats of their kind in service anywhere. The nuclear submarine will feature a Rolls-Royce PWR-3 nuclear reactor paired with an advanced pump jet system. It will be armed with 12 Trident 2D5 SLBMs with a range of about 7,500 miles 12, kilometers. The nuclear submarine will have the capacity to carry as many as 144 nuclear warheads. According to the Royal Navy, HMS Dreadnought will contain 26 miles 42.5 kilometers of pipes and 20,000 cables. The vessel will also feature adaptive lighting for the crew. This will simulate day and night on board. As the crew will sometimes be submerged for months at a time, this will help with their sleep patterns and mental health. The submarine will also contain a full fitness center that a symbolic ceremony for the nuclear submarine that HMS Dreadnought has an estimated cost of roughly 31 billion pounds, 39 billion dollars. The submarine will be the 12th Royal Navy vessel to bear that name. The first was a 40-gun ship built in 1553 point one of the most famous vessels in Royal Navy history. The 1906 HMS Dreadnought revolutionized battleship design and completely changed naval warfare. The name comes from the idea that those aboard such an advanced vessel should dread not, i.e. fear nothing. The previous HMS Dreadnought before the new design was Britain's first nuclear submarine. It was launched in 1960 and decommissioned in 1980 to the keel-laying ceremony of HMS Dreadnought on March 20th was a largely symbolic act. Firstly, submarines don't actually have a keel. Large parts of the submarine were also present in the facility during the ceremony. This is because the first steel was cut for HMS Dreadnought on October 6, 2016 that since that time, 16 separate modules have been built for the submarine. These will be welded together. The vessel will then be fitted with the Rolls-Royce nuclear reactor and other key parts. So, in truth, the keel-laying ceremony really marks the start of the final assembly of HMS Dreadnought, rather than the start of construction.